Welcome to your daily devotional, My Life Today, December, and Eternal Life. December 25th, listen to the angel choir. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Luke 2 verses 13 and 14. No one born into the world, not even the most gifted of God's children, has ever been accorded such demonstration of joy as greeted the babe born in Bethlehem. The angels appeared to the humble shepherds guarding their flocks by night upon Bethlehem's plains. The angel of the Lord came to them and said, Fear not, for, behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling cloth, lying in a manger. No sooner had their eyes been accustomed to the glorious presence of the one angel than, lo, the whole plain was lighted up with the wondrous glory of the multitude of angels that peopled the plains of Bethlehem, all praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. Then was the melody of heaven heard by mortal ears, and the heavenly choir swept back to heaven as they closed their ever-memorable anthem. The light faded away, but there remained in the hearts of the shepherds the brightest picture mortal men had ever looked upon, and the blessed promise and assurance of the advent to our world of the Savior of men, which filled their hearts with joy and gladness, mingled with faith and wondrous love to God. Oh, that day the human family could recognize that song. The declaration then made, the note then struck, will sweep to the close of time, and resound to the ends of the earth. When the Son of Righteousness shall arise with healing in His wings, that song will be re-echoed by the voice of a great multitude as the voice of many waters, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God Omnipotent reigneth in eternal life, December 25th.